Hey you guys, it's Peter and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Boost! SilverDaddy.com. I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2018. The album. Dad AF. The Tanacon soundtrack. They don't need no water. Let the motherfuckers burn. That would. Oh, that was. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of cute, wasn't it? Anyway, a little shade. A little shade before we get to this video. Um, so, it's been five days since TanaCon, the documentary series, came out. And, uh, well, it wasn't really a series. It was one video that was an hour and four minutes, wasting my entire life because we didn't learn anything we already didn't know about TanaCon, which basically, if you listen to Tana Mojo, is that Michael Weiss is the biggest asshole in the entire world. But she just keeps on repeating that over and over and over again. I guess sooner or later we'll want to believe it. So, I thought it would be interesting today. Hold on a second. I need a new hat. Today, <laughs> there's hair hanging. Today, I am the drama. Today, the people, the United States of YouTube demands a fair and unbiased fan flipping opinion about TanaCon. And this one right here, the drama investigator of the world, obviously, is about they don't need no water, let the motherfuckers burn, said Tana Mojo. I'm about to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> all right. So I was um, going through the Twitter and all of these people were saying that Tana Mojo was deleting comments off of her video and I thought, Surely Tana Mojo has, don't call me Shirley, surely Tana Mojo has better things to do than sit around all day long and delete comments off of her, you know, YouTube. Like, I don't know, get high with Bella Thorne, Bella Thorne, or get high with Elijah Daniel, or get high with all of her friends. I don't know. She's probably got something better to do, don't you think, other than make a video, because she only makes a video about once a month now. So anyway... I thought, well, it would be real interesting to go in and see what people were saying underneath the comment sections and if it's true. Because if it's all just glowing, which it's not, which is really interesting to me, then it would imply that she's deleting comments. Now, I can't really tell if she's deleting comments. One of the ways that you can usually tell, just a little trick if you want to <laughs> go see, if you ever watch somebody's videos and you look at the comment sections underneath there and there's like no discussion, there's not one negative comment underneath there, pretty much that will tell you they're editing comments so that it looks a certain way. The other way that you can do it is you can go down to the video and when it says like how many comments there are, you can put it to top comments or newest comments and refresh it. And let's just say if it has like a thousand comments and all of a sudden it goes down to 200, what you know is said YouTuber has deleted 800 comments. And you might ask yourself, well, why would this YouTuber delete 800 comments? Well, they don't want people to really know what the world thinks of them. So that's one way to kind of find out. But I went in here to the Twitter first and, um, Tana Mojo, who has now, you want to see her uh, new, here's her new, Tana Mojo's new uh, Twitter. <laughs> That's her profile, just black screen all over, okay? So, um, she tweeted out four days ago, TanaCon, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and she pinned it. And so, I wanted to go underneath here and see what people had to say, because I thought, you know, I will be really, really surprised if the, the, the Tana fans, the Tana stands, the Tana Khan stands. If they do not support her 100%, I will be really surprised. I was really surprised. And what this tells you by the comments that you read underneath here and the comments that you read on the Tana Khan video, I don't care how many fans this girl has. She's growing still every day. You know, congratulations to you. You know, you did real great. Um, but all of this speaks for itself because people have really kind of lost interest in Tana and they're holding her accountable. I was really surprised. So let's go underneath here and read a few of these comments, okay? Mona Lisa, don't. She says in here about the video, one, she should, this, Mona Lisa, you ought to be a drama channel. One, this could have all been said in 10 minutes. Two, why would you bring up the sexual assault rape if you don't mention it again and that's not what the video is about? Three, I don't know why this video took you so long to edit. Nothing special here. Oh, did I mention, I forgot to mention this in my last video. Tana Mojo, who will be late at her own wedding, uh, she can't show up to collabs or flights or anything on time. She feeds this documentary out for a month, okay? And then doesn't even put it up on time. She said noon Monday. She changed her Twitter name to noon on Monday. And it came out an hour and a half late. An hour and a half late. 
So what is your name now? Noon, not really an hour and a half late Monday? No, her name now is back to Tana Mojo, I guess. So anyway, um, number four, you keep saying you discovered so many things, but you don't mention anything that hasn't been said in Shane's video yet. Number five, you keep saying you're doing your best and have been working on it for a month, but what have you actually done? And that's actually true. Like, I, I agree with every point there. Mona Lisa, props to you. Uh, and then this Heather says, number two, she's not the first to do this. Um, and this is referring to the bringing up the sexual assault thing. She says, she's not the first to do this and really bothers me. They find themselves in hot water, so they use this to push some focus where somewhere else. And then Simona Lisa says, it's easy to gain sympathy that way, starting off by making the other one look bad, like the bad guy, so everything you've done wrong seems irrelevant in the big scheme of things. Um, and then it goes under here and it says, this Hazel verse says, it's hilarious to me how Tana Mojo wants to be the voice for her generation, yet can't speak for herself. And then this Molly, who's obviously a fan, she says, isn't she speaking for herself in this video? And Tater, I love that name so much, Tater Tots. I love Tater Tots with cheese and ketchup and everything, ranch dressing even, because I'm from the Midwest. She says she's basically rephrasing everything that was said in Shane's video. I didn't learn any new information. And uh, <laughs> this Jasmine uses a little uh, meme or gift. She says, absolutely right. Uh, real thoughts. The irony is this is so unnecessary and lacking at the same time. Unnecessary. This person's name. This is this is hilarious. Look at my tweet. It's not my profile. Unnecessary because you're being repetitive and nothing you said in this video wasn't said, known, or shown before in Shane series. The first seven minutes should and would have been enough, but you have literally lived up to your, vi your video title. Your good side, Michael, and good times bad side, and the ugly results. Quit blaming and stop explaining the things you did right because we already established who are at fault last month and start focusing on what is lacking. Lacking, instead of talking about TanaCon, you should have put more emphasis on the what's, the when's, the how's, and the why's of the refund process, and how will you reimburse those who wasted their money and time and flew and traveled just to attend your event. Oh wait, there's one more. And if not, you should explain this also, how come you still believe that giving free tickets would make your event work? The money would be from somewhere, right? Just continue to make up for the people who have been wronged, and please let all the people involved and yourself move on. Somebody actually commented on my video, uh, my first Tana video, I think. I mean, not my first. My first one was like two years ago, but my first TanaCon video, and they said, Peter, like, you need to really let this go. I think it's affecting you personally. Um, I used to be a candle review company, but now I'm a drama channel of the world. Oh, my God. And that's what I do over here as I discuss current topics on social media. Is this current? No, it's five days late, but I think that we need to talk about it anyway. The Tana Connery continues, says the Real Housewives of California. Of course, it's a comedy. She thinks this whole thing is a huge joke, and she absolutely does, right? That's, she thinks the whole thing is a joke. Only an hour and a half late, and then this, <laughs> Bella, another Bella, Bella Ferry says she's staying on brand. Every comment underneath here is harsh as shit on Tana, right? So then you go in and you look at the video, okay? Here it is, Tana Con, the good, the bad, and the ugly, which currently, currently, has 1.7 million views. Now, if you watched my first video, did I not predict this? I said, had she put it out right away, it wouldn't have got these kind of views, but she's got, she's gonna get millions of views off this thing because she made everybody wait and she's not gonna say anything. I basically, listen, okay? Nobody wants to believe it. They all wanna believe those psychic twins over there and they're beautiful. I love the psychic twins, the Jameson twins. They're fine and all that kind of stuff, okay? They ain't selling tickets out like Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium. I'm going to see her at Halloween. I can't wait. She's going to read me. I know she's going to pick me out of the audience and be like, you're YouTube famous. You better come up here on change, stage. But anyway, I'm basically the psychic of the world, and I called all this, okay? She's losing just street cred at this point. Tana, turn it around, okay? Don't, don't even apologize anymore. Let's just move on and act like it never happened. That's what you should do, okay? Because you just keep on fucking up, and you don't listen to nobody. She doesn't listen to anybody about anything, right? So I went underneath here, and I wanted to see if she was really deleting comments. Well, currently, it says there are 30,000 comments. When you refresh it, it says that there are 30... Wait, wait, wait. I, I did it before, and it, it looked like there were uh, 2,000 comments missing. Oh, 30,000 comments. So she's not deleting any comments. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so she's not deleting any comments. So the allegation that she's deleting comments is not true. And I will tell you that I also knew that it wasn't true, because if you go in underneath here... <laughs> It, I, she might be deleting the nice comments, but there aren't very many of them. So I can think it kind of speaks for itself. What's interesting to me about this video is that it has 102,000 likes on it. 102,000 people liked this video. Could you all stand up and raise your hand, please? You're idiots! 
What did you like about this video? My God, are you all 12 years old? Wake up. She's not going to be the next president of the United States. God, I hope. You know what I mean? Like who, what 102,000 people are standing out there going, oh my God, I love this. It's answered all my questions. I love you, Tana. I stand you. It's stupid. Seriously, who can honestly sit here and watch this video of hers and say that they like really bought into what she said in this video? 102,000 people? That's a city. My God, that's bigger than some cities. Hell, I just watched that wild, wild country, that antelope of Oregon. It only had 40 people in it. That's like a small YouTuber. So anyway, let's go in here and read some of the comments. To be honest, this is from Sonia. To be honest, the people who stood in line for longer than two hours are stupid. Like, even if they did pay, I would have realized, oh, no, you know what I did? I went underneath here, and I went to the top comments. Um, uh, so she says, to be honest, the people who stood in line for longer than two hours are stupid. Like, even if they did pay, I would have realized, like, oh, something is wrong and left, LOL. Like, I'm not about to sit my ass in the sun for hours with no news. Well, girl, I mean, I feel bad for those people, but I straight up agree with you all day long, okay? I ain't waiting in line for nobody, Okay. Like I say, not even rock on the jazz woman. Stevie Nicks, I would not wait in line two hours. I'd be like, let me know when the show starts. I'll pull up and I'll get out in the ballet area, okay? That's about how I roll these days. So anyway, then this uh, next person says, I can't watch anymore. I've never met someone contradict themselves so much. What about you lying about capacity refunds, contradicting yourself about taking responsibility, yet still blaming good times, being off social media, but tweeting the whole time. Yeah, she said in there, I'm, I've been off social media for a month. No, you hadn't. You're a liar. Um, and so, if you lie about that, then do you lie about everything? Now, I'm not a believer that somebody gets caught lying one time, they're a liar about everything. I don't believe that, right? But it was consistently that she was lying through this thing. Putting ads on your apology. Like, what the fuck? Even this video was up late after promoting it. Like, hell, you're saying you were a stupid 19-year-old, isn't helping anything. There are literally videos of you saying how much work a convention is, and you still went through with it, knowing full well your traits. You don't care. You phony. <laughs> you phony. <laughs> All you did was wait till it was safe to come out, repeat what we had already know, and hope for it to blow over without actually answering or resolving anything. Also, no, I didn't watch the whole video. Feel free to correct me if any of these things are actually addressed later on in the video. This was, she posted this six minutes ago. Uh, Natalie. <laughs> nope, you got it pretty much right, Natalie. Everything that you said in there, 100% accurate. Okay, let me go to the top comments because that's what I was reading earlier. Um... So somebody says in here, of course she had to monetize her apology and they go in there and say thing. And I think this is actually really kind of an interesting aspect to this, isn't it? So, you know, there's been a lot of discussion on YouTube. Now, I did an apology video. Um, I think it was almost two years ago, a uh, year and a half ago. I made an apology video and I did not monetize it. It's still up and it's not monetized to this day. What's interesting to me, okay, is that we've had all these people, the Simply Kennas, and people come out before and make apology videos. And then if they do monetize it, what they say is, well, I have to pay my bills. I'm a YouTuber of the world. Like, how am I going to pay my bills otherwise? But let's take this one step further, okay? Tana just got caught screwing everybody up the ass with TanaCon, okay? And then she makes an apology video and she puts ads on it. But wait. What she's saying, supposedly, because if you go underneath here and you read the comments, is that she's going to use the money that she makes off of this video. <laughs> now, let me I'm going to tell you how this works in a second on YouTube, okay? She's going to take the money she makes off this video, and then she's going to use that to reimburse the people that didn't get their refunds or got screwed or traveled. No, I think that money needs to come out of your own Louis Vuitton purse, baby, okay? Because this is what I think. So, you got this whole thing going, you got real arrogant about it, you got all your people on board, people flew out to LA to attend your convention while you were sitting up in a room with Bella Thorne, okay, being all arrogant about it, while they were waiting outside getting sunburnt. Then they leave, they don't even get to see you, they see some Shane Dawson three-part docuseries, you come out a month later after the event, put up an apology, and they want some answers, which they still don't get. You still haven't given any answers to how you screwed over your fans. And the way that you're going to pay your fans back is off of money that you made on a video not explaining shit to your fans. This is how you treat your fans, right? Don't ever tweet out again. I love you so much. I love my fans so much because that's a crock of shit. You could blow it out your ass. It's not. You don't love these people. 
because you treat them horribly. You treat them absolutely horribly. Now let me tell you about this YouTube thing, okay, for a second. And she wants to sit down with me. I, I said this in my last video. She wants to sit down with me and we can have a conversation about it. I ain't gonna get in her face. She ain't gonna get in my face. I'll have a nice conversation with her. I'll tell her how to fix this because I know. I know how to fix all of this. She don't want to listen to anybody. So when she wants to humble herself down to listen to somebody, because I think looking back, Shane Dawson probably could have fixed this for her. But he probably at some point thought, oh, God, I can't deal with this shit anymore. So anyway... You know, all of this just completely just kills me. So if you go in here and you continue to read the comments, of course, uh, is there any proof that people got the refunds? So when you go in here and you look at people asking if they got the refunds, this is interesting. Now, I said in my last video that a lot of people had commented to me in direct messages. I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to put this on her. And at this point, it's really up to Veep. But she's trying to help this process along. So, okay. And Shane Dawson's trying to help this process along. But I've gotten a lot of direct messages from people saying I never got a refund. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's people just stirring shit up. I don't know if those are real receipts. I'm not going to go to that. People send me fake shit all the time, okay? But what's interesting is when you go underneath here, people say... Several people are commenting here saying they didn't get it back. So to be honest, I don't think they, that many got refunded. People are just being naive as hell trying to protect her. And then somebody said, I saw a video of Shane on mom's base. And then, okay, wait. Um, somebody said, I got mine. My friend got her refund. Well, I got mine. Some people got it too. Stop trying to make it seem like no one got shit. So I don't know. You know, like that's, you know, do, will we know? Do we have to go to the comment sections to find out the answers, you know? Hey, Tiana, why don't you put up a poll and say, how many of you got your refund? Like, I would, th I, that would be interesting. Um, I was completely off social media. Somebody's quoting her. You were all over Twitter talking about some Australian meet and greet. Wait a second. So this is grand, okay? So she's all over Twitter talking about, well, she's been on Twitter since this went down. But she's all over Twitter talking about this Australian meet and greet, which is actually a paid event that I talked about in my last TanaCon video, okay? That people are going crazy about now because these VIP tickets are over $100, right? For a meet and greet with Tana Mojo on the heels of TanaCon. Like, when does the madness stop? Seriously? Like... When is somebody going to hold this girl accountable? Like, this is crazy, okay? And I will tell you what I have a huge issue with with this is that Christine Sidelko is somebody that has signed on to do this tour with her, and Christine's trying to clean up her mess. Christine, you ought to cancel this trip to Australia, okay? I would not be aligned with her in any way whatsoever. This speaks of your professionalism as well. And I think anybody at this point going further that works aside with her, I'm not talking about the docu doing documentaries on her or questioning her or interviewing her, but anybody that just willingly goes forward and is like, oh yeah, this is just fine, we're just fun, whatever, you're co-signing her bullshit at this point, seriously, you know? Use the profits from this video to reimburse the people who flew, and then they go in there and they say that that is happening, supposedly, and all that kind of stuff. But here's the thing. It's like on YouTube, if you have a YouTube channel, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it gives you an estimated revenue of what you made per that video, and you can kind of really get down and figure out what you made. But like, okay, so when? Because that video, two months from now, could still be making money. Six months from now, her video could still be making money. So... What time period? Are you going to use the money that you made off the video in one day or in two weeks or this pay period or whatever? Because next month, if the video gets views, it's still going to be making money. So what happens to that? What happens to the money that you make from the video two years from now? I mean, I just think that's kind of an ambiguous, you know, thing to put out there. Um, I love how Tiana says she's going to own up to, and take the blame, but then blames everything on Michael, shaking my head. She's literally attention-seeking, this person replies to this. She knows she needs to say something to her fans, but it's Tana, isn't it? She has to be the victim. She's Tana, but she's also so funny, and she's trying to do... She's trying. Do you think she really wants to see people suffer? Um, I don't think that Tana... I, I, I don't believe that Tana wants to see people suffer. I don't. I, I, I don't... That takes an evil kind of person that wants to see somebody suffer, and, and I don't believe that about Tana. I don't think she... I don't really ever thought, think that she thought sitting in a room, I think she thought people would wait. I don't believe she thought people would get sunburnt. I don't believe she really, you know, conceptualized that people would spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars to fly there. I don't really think her goal was ever to fuck anybody over. I just don't. I just don't think she thought it through. Like, that's the issue, right? The issue isn't the intention or the motive, because I don't think that her, her motives or intention were bad. I think her motives were probably pretty pure. Honestly, I do. But I think that it's what happened as a result of her not thinking it through. Like, that's a problem, right? And that's kind of a grown-up thing, you know? Like, to be real honest with you, when we get on the bus for kindergarten or first grade, we learn a lot of things, right? Like, we learn that you don't hit somebody in the head because it's not very nice. And if you do, then you need to say I'm sorry to them and make it right, you know? And maybe your teacher makes you hold their hand for a whole day.
See, like maybe we need to do that with Tana and Michael and treat them like they're in kindergarten again. Or, you know, like we learned that if you steal something from somebody, like a piece of paper, then you repay them for that. See, Tana, that's what we learned that in first grade. Now, I don't know, did you go to first grade, Tana? You know, we learned other things like, you know, you let people go ahead of you, you be real nice. See, you give people compliments, you do all that kind of stuff. You don't make people wait, okay? You don't spend 15 minutes in the bathroom pooping all day long when everybody else is waiting to go to lunch, okay? You tell the teacher, this is gonna take a little bit longer, teacher, because I gotta poop real bad. So maybe take everybody to, to, to lunch and let somebody like the assistant take me. Tana, we learned these things in first grade, okay? You're 20 years old! Why haven't you learned it by now? Seriously? Do we need to take you back to first grade, Tana? I can't, okay? So anyway, <laughs> girl, this was pathetic. Full of excuses, just pathetic. Um, I'm going to sit on the kitchen floor because it makes me look vulnerable and hopeless. Now we know why VidCon didn't want her. LMAO, still haven't received my uh, refund, LOO. She hurt thousands of people so much more than any anything VidCon did to her. I was literally just about to go to sleep, but tea time stops for no one. Uh, but she had the time to redo her lip injections. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I'm a lone wolf. I have to do everything on my own. Um, okay, what about your manager? Who else hates how she's blaming everyone but herself? Sure, she said, I take full responsibility for all of my actions, but then she continues to blame Good Times, Michael, and everyone but herself. Also, one more thing. I have to ask how come no one's talking about the video of her saying that she and other people love to be oppressed outside. That's never been addressed. To this day, never been addressed. This is a super oversimplified, but this is like inviting a bunch of people over to your house to have a pizza party. You happen to have coupons for Pizza Place X. You tell your friends that you want to order from X. However, they say they have ordered from X before and did not like it. Then they pull up X online and show you how many negative reviews. You order the pizza anyway. Everyone hates it. People are upset. You respond by saying, it's not my fault. The pizza was so bad. I didn't make the pizza. <laughs> exactly. I didn't make the pizza. First grade, Tana. <laughs> I mean, I'm just reading. There is not one good comment in here. Hit the 1.5 speed to help with the one hour time. God, this isn't even an apology. She's literally just apologizing, but then saying that it wasn't her fault. It was all other people's like, don't just say it's your fault for the sake of saying it. You actually believed it. Then this video would be less than 10 minutes long and you know it, Tana. You are brain dead. Blah, blah. Even more excuses. I'm so innocent. I'm the victim. It's Michael's fault. What a load of BS. Li listen, if I hire someone to cater for a party and the food ends up not being there or crap, it would be my fault. I would apologize to my guests as I would have been the one who promised a great party. I organized it and it would have been my responsibility to make sure I hired the right people. Simple as. Thank you very much, Mandy Moore, not the singer, but I agree 100%. I think it's time to move on from the TanaCon stuff. I wanted to see what people had to say in the comment sections. I wanted to see how people were responding to Tana's video, but this is just a bunch of bullshit at this point. She needs to move on. And she doesn't need to apologize anymore. She needs to do anything about this. She just needs to go on and start doing her old day videos again, okay? It's time to just move on and leave TanaCon in the dust where it belongs. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.